Reporting to you live here in Chicago for the Lollapalooza Music Festival. It's live from last week, episode 137. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow tree walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So first of all, I want to welcome y'all to the month of August. Happy August, guys! And so, after a second busy night shift in a row, this time on another unit with my buddy Ramez, just like I did just 24 hours ago, I went to my local McDonald's for my stress reliever. AKA, yet another breakfast happy meal. Which, as usual, came with pancakes, this chocolate milk, and this cute little headband that I wore while eating my breakfast. Anyways, it's time to rest up before I go in for my third night shift in a row tonight. Hoping that it won't be as busy as the previous two night shifts. And I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. After three busy shifts where, for the first time ever, I was in the locker room deciding to use the hospital's facilities. Wearing my chinillas that you see here from home. Finally trying out what it feels like to have a post night shift shower here. And guys, I did this to be clean for my Uber ride that was set to pick me up from downtown this morning. And after a journey where we crossed the Detroit-Windsor border, driving on the road on literally no sleep for over 10 hours, post night shift, we ended up here. Look where we're at. The bean. Elrond, touch the bean! Touch the bean! Yeah! He poked the bean! Hey! We're going to Illuminati's! Woohoo! Let's go! Oh, really good! <laughs> but before we go and roam around the great city here in Chicago, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting out with a birthday shout out to one of my cousins back in the Philippines. This birthday greeting goes out to you, AC. Happy birthday, AC. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who also works at the hospital that I haven't seen in a long time. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. We next got a birthday shout out to one of my friends back in high school who I remember always cracked me up when we were in PE class. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Dustin. Happy birthday, Dustin. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to a friend of ours of whom we attended their wedding several years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jacob. Happy birthday, Jacob. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Guys, still being on the topic of, well, still being in Chicago, going back to trying to learn some certain dance moves, taking several days to try to get a new outfit for this event, as well as getting tickets last month. Guess who this morning got waitlist approved and is now booked to go to Chicago to attend Lollapalooza. After getting less than four hours of sleep because I was just too excited, we have finally arrived to this day, watching one of our favorite K-pop groups perform in person, the one, the only, New Jeans, in this music festival here in Chicago called Lollapalooza. Where the f 
After that amazing time at Lollapalooza, and the first time going to a music festival of that nature, getting in almost 35,000 steps over the day, I got a quick shout out to the sister who is more versed in going to these music festivals than I am. Nico, are these the music festivals that you go to? And to recap that fun-filled day, here are a couple of highlights that were some of my favorites from Thursday's session at Lollapalooza. Palooza 2023. And last night, guys, post concert, we decided to try out another deep dish Chicago style pizza joint, but this time on the north side of Chicago with a 4.5 star rating called Pico's Pizza. <laughs> And while for me, preferring Lou Malnati's from the night before, the service from this establishment as well as the pizza were still pretty good. But moving on to this morning where we finally got to the hotel and I was able to pass out only having about 5 hours of sleep in the past 48 hours. I had got a decent 8 hour sleep in last night. Waking up with a sore body as if I just got hit by a truck. Feeling a bit old after a full day of fist pumping at the festival just like this. But one thing that did pep me up and gave me the energy to survive today was when the wife showed me and told me about this official Lollapalooza sleeveless t-shirt that she had bought for only a measly 40 bucks in US dollars. Either way, for the memories that it had brought us, I definitely think it was money well spent. Moving on, before we head back from Chicago on a nice 10 hour drive back to Canada, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who I'm remembering meeting through Rob's beach volleyball group. This birthday greeting goes out to Charlene. Happy birthday, Charlene. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Man, yesterday on the road trip stopping by a US McDonald's in Michigan, we got to try this unique McDonald's cookies and cream baked pie that is just not available in Canada. That's yeah, just whipped cream. What is, what is it called? It's a cookies and cream pie. Cookies and cream pie. Cool. Yeah. The commute home also came with this surprise, one that I haven't seen before. Seeing these trucks take up all three lanes on the highway all at the same time. But to wrap up our trip, when we got back home to Scarborough, we ended up at a place for late night eats where we were exactly one week ago on Friday, feasting on all this delicious Chinese dim sum that you can see here, once again at the famous perfect Chinese restaurant. But yeah, moving on, today we'll start off with the birthday greetings of the day. Starting off with a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball buddies who always posts pictures of him and his good times at the beach. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sonny. Happy birthday, Sonny. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made in university back when she was doing her nursing program. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kaniza. Happy birthday, Kaniza. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my classmates back in university who I used to have classes in biology with. This birthday shout out goes out to you Tess. Happy birthday Tess. 
And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my other university classmates who's a big sports fan and who's also celebrating her birthday at the Walt Disney Resort in Florida. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Now guys, on to where we are at the present moment, where I don't know if you already can hear the bass and the music blasting in the background. With me not really caring that tonight, I'm going in for my first of my scheduled two night shifts later on. I am near the exhibition grounds here in Toronto with my patented Jamaican me a Duave t-shirt all set and ready to check out the 2023 edition of Toronto's Caravana Parade. So after that fun afternoon out, and me enjoying the Caravana festivities for the first time in person since before the pandemic, as well as getting my 10,000 steps in, I had only one mission in mind. Looking back to the last time I saw him live and in the flesh, my goal here was to find my childhood friend Antoine in the middle of all of this crowd. And after six hours of searching for him throughout this whole event, where is this guy? Trying my hardest to avoid being hit by all the feathers from all the costumes I was seeing, as well as having help from some of Antoine's brothers who I also haven't seen in years. Antoine's here, come. Jeremiah, I know who you are. Bro. How you doing, man? How you doing? I'm trying to find him. Antoine's here, come. and packed caravana crowd, this is what happened. Tuan, it was great to run into you yesterday, and I'm hoping that we can both catch up again sometime soon. In other jam-packed event type of news, after not having a concert date in Canada on her recent Eras tour, Taylor Swift had recently released some concert dates in Toronto for November 2024. And guys, guess who just pre-registered themselves to try to obtain some tickets to these concerts? Either way, I'll keep you guys posted if I ever land some. So, wish me luck, guys. But moving on, after attending Sunday Catholic Mass from home via YouTube today, I'm off to go in for my second of my two weekend night shifts tonight, with last night being redeployed to Ortho, which just means I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Guys, last night's night shift had me a little bit hungry during work. So, just like I've done in previous episodes, when I saw an abandoned box of donuts looking lonely in the break room, I decided to treat myself to a nice, delicious mid-shift treat. 
And well, I think that my colleagues overheard that I was a little bit hungry during work. That for the first time since I believe my birthday last year, Gomes Victoria, a beer, and I went to the local Denny's and had this feast for our first post night shift breakfast of 2023. But guys, when I got home, I just couldn't stay asleep. And maybe it's because Victoria, who is also a big K-pop fan, got me to tell her how amazing my Lollapalooza trip to Chicago was and how I got to see New Jeans live and in person earlier this week. Another reason why I'm feeling pretty excited today, recalling that time that I used Travel Zoo to secure some sporting event tickets. Tonight, I'm meeting up with my cousins to check out the Monday evening session of the National Bank Open the tennis tournament here at York University. But before we check out this event tonight, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my ICU buddies, of whom last year made his first ever debut on a previous Live From Last Week episode. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Greg. Happy birthday, Greg. We've next got a birthday greeting to one of my former roomies back at Wysik at 2H, of whom we last saw when I attended a super kicked event a couple months back. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Vanessa. Happy birthday, Vanessa. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my cousins who's also a big Jays fan and who's also made several cameos in previous Laugh From Last Week episodes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Char. Happy birthday, Char. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But unfortunately guys, since this episode is already jam-packed, our feature on the tennis tournament at the National Bank Open will have to wait till next week's episode. And with that, we'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what we've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.